my dear sons and daughters in the Lord, I have something to tell you today. Revelation chapter 12 verse 1, the word of God said that a woman was clothed with sun and the moon. That was a woman of glory and a woman of glory bettered a child of glory, a child who was to rule the world with an iron hand. Who was that child? Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the savior of the world. Now a woman with the glory gave birth to a child with a big destiny, powerful destiny. And the child was as well filled with the glory. Now put it the other way. A woman without the glory will give birth to children with just a common destiny. I want to tell you something today. My daughters, do you know that the life you live oh, will either empower your children or destroy the destiny of your children? Do you know that God has routed so many things through you, so many greatness through you, the greatness of your children through you? God has given you grace for you to be their platform for them to excel. But how come that your prayer life is being attacked? How come that you are prayerless? How come that you, you lack encounter? God has given you oh, extraordinary grace so that your children will stand on that grace for to, to excel. What has happened to your prayer life? You are prayerless. My daughters, you are prayerless. My sons, you are prayerless. Listen, the word of God says in the Bible, in the book of Kings, 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 13, God told Solomon, If not for the covenant I had with your brother, with your father, with your father David, I could have destroyed all your kingdom. But for the sake of David, I will spare one kingdom for you. Are you not surprised? For the sake of David, I will spare one kingdom for you. For the sake of his father. For the sake of his father. That means someone stood on the gap. Someone has laid a platform for mercy and a platform for greatness. And the word of God said in the book of Genesis chapter 26 verse 24, God told Isaac, Oh, I am here to bless you, not for your sake, but for the sake of your father Abraham. Oh my God. Child of God, let me tell you, if you trace greatness, if you trace the history of greatness in the lives of some individual you discover that their greatness came as a result of what their father's sacrifice either their immediate father or their grandfather or their great grandfather who laid the foundation for greatness in their lineage many things were routed through them and they did not take it for granted they did not mortgage the future of their children or put the future of their children in jeopardy my children i want to tell you something today you know and the parish priest of Blessed Michael Iwenetansi Parish Umudioka. And also the rector, Blessed Iwenetansi Prigime Center Umudioka. Now I'm telling you the real story. The mother of our Archbishop, who, you know, coincidentally is from Umudioka. You know, I love associating with old women. I love interacting with them, old women, old men and women. And all of them, I'm telling you, are sharing the same testimony about the mother of our archbishop, a good woman who served God with her whole life, a good woman who stood for justice. I saw the testimony of a saint. I heard the testimony of a saint. To the extent that a man even told me that this woman gave her life to Christ, stood for the poor, stood for the poor, prayed with the little blockers, the children every day of her life, and God gave her archbishop as a reward. Are you not surprised? Are you not surprised? Now, it is a challenge to the mothers. Oh my God, why must you mortgage the destiny of your children? Why must you mortgage mothers? Why must you mortgage the destiny of your children? I'm telling you today, many things are routed through you. Oh my God. I want to tell you, I want to tell you something today. Your prayer life, your lifestyle will either upgrade the destiny of your children or, 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 or degrade or even destroy the destiny of your children. God has given you the grace for you to lay a solid foundation for your children. What type of life do you live? What type of life do you live? You can imagine the, tes the testimony people, or, you know, people are are bearing about the murder of the Archbishop, Valeria Nokeke, the Archbishop of Nature. Now, through the, her mother's dedication to God, you can imagine a woman who prayed with a blood rosary children all through her life, and the, the, the man said that God saw her dedication to God, and they gave them Archbishop, who today is an icon, and a blessing to the other sisters of, of our nature, and to the entire universe. What is happening in your life? You don't have time for prayer. You don't have time for money mass. You don't have time. You don't have time for God. Child of God, remember that the spiritual controls the physical. If not for anything, for the sake of the generation that is tied to you, 
for the sake of the generation today that you know you know that is tied to you let me tell you my children i for one i am you know what i am today because i had a mother who was visiting blessed sacrament with my pictures i had a mother who was running around prayer to prayer ministry praying for her son i had a father who was storming the desert just like father Musa is storming today a father who vowed who vowed that his son will be a reverend father oh brother chris Mosier can, can 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 testify to this storming the desert at aguiado people from Unkolejunaka, you know the place called aguiado from night a morning in agreement prayer with the brother priest, what was their intention? My father said, I want my son to be a priest. My children, oh, I wonder what you are doing. I wonder what you are doing. Mothers, mothers, your children are languishing. Your children are languishing. Remember the story of St. Monica and St. Augustine. It was a Monica that laid the foundation for St. Augustine's sainthood. What has happened? What has really happened? What has really gone wrong? Today, let me tell you, the people you hear their name, if you read their history, you discover that someone laid the foundation for greatness and they and they and they are standing on that foundation. Mothers, mothers, you have no time for prayers, but you have time for party. You have no time for the word of God. You have time for 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 social activities you have time to attend parties you don't go to church you don't pray i am makada buskin the foundation one destroyed what can they just do have you ever asked yourself what will be of your children remember remember my children a woman of glory better a son a child of glory who ruled his generation do you want your children to rule their generation now lay a platform lay a foundation for them lay a foundation for them i am lucky i repeat again i had a mother who will even lay her hand on my head and said even when i was praying lord i read this my son lord make my son great i had a father who will always call his children and they and they prophesy over their life and drop their Bible on their head, not saying, not, 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 not just occasional prayer, but what continuous prayer, continuous prayer, continuous standing on the gap. My children, mothers all over the world, I am prophesying over your children, and at the same time, I pray that my God will give you the disposition for you to storm the altar of God with the name of your children. Storm the altar of God with the pictures of your children. Pray always and prophesy over your children. I am prophesying over your life from this desert. God of the monster will surely beautify you in a manner that will dazzle the world. I prophesy instant miracle right now. Oh, oh, my daughters, women, women. Let us turn our gossip bag into gospel bag. Let us turn our cosmetic bag into gospel bag. I bet you, your life will never remain the same. My children, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Father Ebemonso, F-A-D-A, Igbo way of spelling Father, F-A-D-A. And at the same time, try and log in at noonday for prophecy over prosperity breakthrough prosperity grace and almighty god bless you always it shall be well with you in the name of jesus christ